Hi, my name is Bill Brown and I am co-director of the Centre of Multilevel Modelling at Bristol. I'm today going to talk to you about the third of a series of talks about the statistical package, software package stature that we develop at the Multilevel Centre in Bristol. In this talk, we will describe the SPSS training material generation features of stature. So if you haven't seen the other talks, Stature is a software package with its own estimation engine, but which can also interoperate with other software packages. The regression template in Stature, for example, will fit a regression model, but it will fit it in a variety of statistical software packages, including R, Stata, MLWIN, and also SPSS. An SPSS is a software package that's often used for training in the social sciences. I want to describe here how we have extended Stature's functionality to allow it to create bespoke training materials automatically for an individual lecturer using their own data. This work was done as part of a British Academy funded grant with my two colleagues Chris Charlton and Liz Washbrook. And it builds on our work on statistical ebooks and statistical analysis assistance that I have talked about in the second of this series of talks. It also came about due to the perceived shortage of quantitatively skilled social science graduates. So the British Academy put aside some money to, 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 to try to tackle this problem. So what was the plan? Well, firstly, the simple brief was to produce a set of static training materials guiding students through various statistical topics that are covered in, a, in, a, in an introductory statistics course using SPSS and an example data set. Then we would create a tool that would allow quick customization of these materials for other disciplines like the list you see behind me here. In other words, we create one set of training materials and along comes another teacher and creates another set using a different data set. So what does the student get? Essentially, we've produced 13 sets of exercises with for each one three components. A concepts practical that takes the student through an example and gives SPS instru SPSS instructions related to that example. Complementing this is a practice component which asks different questions around the same subject area and has as a third component a corresponding solutions component that gives answers to those practical questions. So what are the topics that we covered? As you can see in the list here, they range from the very basic descriptive statistics through some of the simple statistical tests that one might use up to more advanced topics like regression and analysis of variance. Each practical uses an extract from the PISA dataset that does international comparison in education. So let's look at an example. Here behind me we see a correlations practical. This is one of our 13 topics. The bulk of the practical is generated by the stature package and includes instructions for SPSS, whilst, as you'll see, some of the text is in blue, and that is example specific that, that the user has to write. Here this text describes the PISA example that we're going to look at and puts the technique into context. Scrolling lower down this PDF, we can see SPSS instructions that tell the student which variables to use in the operations to calculate the correlation coefficient. In this case, they don't really trip off the tongue, but they are psi e e e f f and ins mon mov psi. These are two variables from the PISA dataset. 
Next, the PDF shows the output as it will appear in SPSS. And crucially, we see that the PDF gives some interpretation of the size and the significance of the correlation that has been found. Here the text will depend on the specific example. So when you come on to create your own training materials, Stature will create specific text for your example. Moving on, we next look at the quiz PDF document, again for the topic of correlations. This is a separate document that asks the student to try out what they have learnt using a different example with different variables. There is then, as we show here, a corresponding solutions document. This combines the commands in SPSS that are required to, to create the solution, the outputs that will be shown in SPSS and some interpretation of those outputs. So what is so great, you may ask? Aren't you just creating a set of training materials? Well, let's show you how the system works if you are a teacher yourself. Let us suppose I work in political sciences and I want to create learning materials for my own training course in my own discipline. Perhaps I have a data set on voting behaviour that I want to use with the listed variables you see here. So to start with, what do I do? Well, I load up the tree interface in Stature. That's one of Stature's free interfaces. And I load up the Correlations Practical eBook. These will be on my machine. Then it asks me firstly to choose a data set. And as shown here behind me, I choose the Elections data set. You will have loaded your own data in if you were trying to do this yourself, and you choose your data set. I next choose from the pull-down list the two variables of interest in my practical. In this case, it is the, the conservative vote share and the proportion of the constituency that are over 65. So I'm going to construct a practical that uses that as my example. What is the correlation between conservative vote share and older constituents? Doing this, as we see now, in a couple of seconds, will generate the practical shown behind me. All the text, apart from what you see in blue, is automatically generated. And the user can now type in their own example-specific text to replace the blue text we have from the PISA example. Moving on, as you can see here, the various chunks of the practical are in their own self-contained boxes. When we look at correlations, we look at different types of correlations, and so each one is in a, its own box. And if you don't want to cover all of the materials that are in our correlations practical, you can simply delete some of them. When the user is happy with the content they can see, they can then click on the Download as eBook button on the bottom of the screen, and an eBook will be created. This will allow them to save the eBook as a file, and then you can move to Stature's deep ebook interface, the second of Stature interfaces, and we can see the browser as shown behind me. Clicking with the right mouse button will allow us to print what we see on the screen as a PDF, and hey presto, we have a hard copy of our new practical. Looking at the new PDF, as we see behind me, we would replace the blue X's with our new text, but you can clearly see the SPSS instructions refer to the new variables that we've incorporated. If we move further down, here again we see the variable names and their labels are updated throughout the SPSS instructions. And further still, we can see that the SPSS output is updated as is the interpretation that we see and the commentary given. So to summarise, all the text and objects update automatically in seconds. All the user has to do is has to write a new introduction to the text. Once again, 
Stature is a computer package. It, 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 it can't do everything that humans do. So context that's impo very important in the social science has to be input by a human. Moving on, here is an example of a generated quiz PDF using the election data. And you can see here we're going to look at the green share of the vote against the non-native proportion in each constituency. So that might be another interesting political example. Here behind we can see the corresponding outputs for the solutions to that um, quiz. And really this kind of illustrates this, this diagram you can see behind me, some of the limitations of the system. So Stature is a computer program, it's not a statistician, and so you give it an example, and if it isn't the best, it's a case of a bit of garbage in and garbage out. So what you can see behind me is an uh, illustration of an outlier. So this is the, the green vote, and you can see Brighton on, on there. If you look, one X is very different from the rest. And this is really influencing our conclusions. But maybe this would be a good example to show students correlations and how they're not always... Um, they don't always work the same way for every different data set. Okay. So that concludes my very quick description of the SPSS features in Stature. To recap, we have 13 different topics. And if you have a set of data sets, in a matter of seconds, you can construct training materials using your data sets. What I have included behind are a series of links that have more information. Thank you very much for listening. Have a nice day.